Hello everyone. So in this video, what we're going to do is answer this first question from the 2018 um, Pure Maths Edexcel A-level paper. So this is paper one uh, from the Edexcel syllabus of the first uh, proper full A-level um, exam that Edexcel students will sit. And this is the first question from that paper. Um, and it's about a small angle approximation. So we're going to do this question today. But before we get into today's video, please do make sure you do click like and click subscribe. Click that like button, click subscribe. It really helps me out and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything and it takes you less than a second. So please do click those buttons and we'll get into today's video now. So question one. So given that theta is small and it's measured in radians, we want to use small angle approximations to find an approximate value of one minus cos four theta divided by two theta times by sine three theta. So before we do this, I guess it's a good idea just to remind ourselves of our small angle approximations. So small angle approximations. So remember, um, so remember that we've got the sine theta. So when theta is small, let me just make a sentence for this, uh, a right sentence. So when theta is small, um, so in A-level maths, you don't really need to worry about like <laughs> what a small quote angle is to be small enough, like how small um, the angle needs to be small to be quoted as small. Um, but it's just um, it's just loosely defined as a quote small angle. Um, so when theta is small, uh, sine theta is about uh, theta. Uh, that and and also as well, cos theta is about. Sorry, let me make that approximately equal to sine theta. Um, it's approximately one minus theta squared over two. Uh, you've also got tan as well, but we don't need that for this specific question here. Um, okay, so we've got one minus cos four theta. Cos four theta. And I'll just put the four theta in brackets just to emphasise that that is the angle inside the cos function, and then two, uh, sorry, two theta times by sine three theta. So let's just think about the cos four theta to start with. So if theta is a small angle, then what that means is that the four, uh, sorry, the four theta is also a small angle. So what we do is we look at this, um, this cos theta formula for, for the small angle approximation. And instead of plugging in theta into the, uh, into the expression, what we're going to do is plug in four theta this time. So we're going to copy our formula. So one and then a minus sign. And then <clears throat> the angle is now four theta rather than theta. So we're going to plug inside here four theta. And then we're going to square that entire angle and divide it by two. So that's how the, the it works. It's just using normal function, um, function maps, normal function rules that you use with functions. So when you plug in a new argument, into a function, so in this case, four theta. Instead of the theta, you plug in four theta. So you square the entire four theta. Uh, and then with this sine three theta is very similar, uh, but this is actually easier. Uh, sine three theta, so again, we go to our sine theta small angle approximation. We look at that. So instead of a theta, we swap the theta with three theta. In this case, here, we've got a three theta there. So every time we see a theta, we swap with Three theta, uh, but obviously, if sine theta is approximately theta, then sine three theta is going to be approximately three theta for a small angle. So now we can plug these two results into uh, into our result here. So we're going to use our two results to plug into the, the result there. So we've got one, and then take away cos four theta, which is the same as this result up here. So one minus uh, four theta, all squared over two and then we're dividing that all by two theta that this two theta doesn't change it still still remains the same and then times by sine the uh, sine three sorry sine three theta which is approximately three theta so we get that so we just tidy this up we've got one and then minus in our square brackets uh one minus and then four theta all square that's going to be 16 theta squared over two divide that all by three times sorry, two times three is six, and theta times theta is theta squared on the bottom. So I just make that actually look like a proper theta, uh, six theta squared. Okay, so we've got one 
minus one. So actually that one cancels out because one take one, uh, sorry, one take away one is zero. Then we've got minus minus 16 theta squared over two. So you've actually got negative and then negative 16 theta squared over two, all divided by six theta squared. But of course, when you've got a minus and a minus together, that's a positive number. Uh, two negatives make, make a positive. And then you, we got 16 over 2 there. Now, 16 over 2 is the same as 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So we've got 8, positive 8 theta squared over 6 theta, sorry, 6 theta squared. And as you can probably see now, the theta squares will just cancel out because theta squared over theta squared is 1. You've got 8 over 6. 8 divided by 6 is the same as 4 over 3. And that's our final answer. So when theta is a small angle, uh, what that means is that 1 minus cos 4 theta, all divided by 2, uh, sorry, 2 theta times by sine 3 theta is approximately 4 over 3. That's what that calculation is telling us there. Um, so, yeah, any questions, do leave a comment below. Um, what I will just say as well is I've actually done, um, have I done a video on proving the small angle approximation? I think I have. I'll check <laughs> later if I have, um, and I'll link it below if I have. But, um yeah, so you use these small angle approximations, uh, these formulas that you have to learn um, to answer questions like that. Uh, so thanks uh, for tuning in. If you are interested in having an online maths tutor uh, for either A-level maths or GCSE maths, please do email me because I am available to help out. So my email is drdifferentiation at gmail.com. Uh, so just drop me an email, just drop me some details about you, uh, whether you're doing A-level maths, GCSE maths, and if there's any specific areas of maths that you need help with. So drop me an email, or get your parents to drop me an email, um, and then we can discuss um, everything about price, etc, etc. Um, so drop me an email and we can get sessions booked in.